like I say, I could actually show you the town. Like I said, I have a complete photographic memory of basically where Jimmy Carter, Richard Nixon was basically broadcasting from or the cable TV access channel he was using. It was somewhere around 1920s, I think, or 1930s or something like that. It was this little, like, I think there there might have been aqueduct by it, but basically it was this little cable TV station or a TV station or news station, whatever. They were given some free cars or some cars by the car company or whatever, and he took the car or something like that. It was like this green car or something, I think. I forget exactly what the details were. Basically, he would come and drop off tapes or something like that. I don't really know. The details. So it's a real place here on Earth, I think. Yeah, and um, and he would go and basically and try and sleep with the secretary and basically drop off his tapes and then drive off. I think he's eventually he stole a car or something like that, claiming he was a reporter. But I don't really know. Like I said I don't really know. You know, I mean, it's this little town and something 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 like i said i have photographic memory of basically the location so if i saw it i could say yep that's it and i think i have seen it and i'm being like oh yeah that, that that's that's the team that's the place you know as basically it's this little town so at the tv access t station that was free or something so anyway and he would post his sermons and blah 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 it was really annoying like i say it's just it's kind of rude like it's lucifer white star lines Titanic, LS, Belfast. Anyway, the star. Also aircraft. So, anyway, LSF-A colony ship, LSF-A blackbird, depleted uranium, faster than the speed of sound, all that. So, anyway, yeah. So, namer of America, all kinds of stuff. Creator of other life forms. And build our civilizations. So anyway. So, yeah. So anyway, so like I say, you know, Helena Troy. Um, basically wooden ships, galleons. Uh, the fin underneath wooden ships to basically make them so they didn't slide sideways to the water so much. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. And possibly even ballasted keels and all that other stuff. As, you know... It kind of it kind of sucked or it didn't seem like a good idea to be waiting the bottom of a ship. But then again, the ships sometimes had to go up like streams and stuff like that where the keel wouldn't be practical. So anyway, it depended on the sailing and the sail rigs and all that other stuff. Anyway, whatever. Like I said, I wasn't really responsible that much for this for the square riggers. You know, I quickly said, well, they slide sideways. Or people said they slide sideways. So and I was like, well, why not just put a fan underneath them? So anyway. So they started putting fins and stuff like that. And that might be why they, why they call them the fins, because they're sailing ships with fins. You know, and they sailed a lot better and were a lot more true and straighter and could capitalize on the wind much better. So anyway, yeah. And some places like Singapore and other, some of these other places were basically built as trading posts there because the winds were perfect to go out that way. They would go whoosh. So that's a perfect spot to have a train yard and a boat yard. End of the places. So. Anyway, yeah, you know, 15,000 years, 50,000 years, trillions of years. And so that's why, like, um, JFK, Nixon, Jimmy Carter, and Trumpy were like, and I'm like, and I'm like, hmm? What? Did I say something? <laughs> anyway, yeah. And that's also why um, some people would have wanted to take out my battleships because it's like, well, the Rodney, also technically that Japanese ship, the Yakamoto, whatever, that was, again, me. Or, well, it's me, but it's also some great Japanese people. But I said, ah, oh, she was beautiful and she was wonderful. Japan had this most, or China had this most wonderful queen. I wish you could have seen her. I hope she has it. She, I think we got a picture of her, but she was, she was like thousands of years ago, or a long, long time ago. But she was, she was amazing. She was wonderful. I vaguely remember her and her family just a little bit. Like it was the epic empire of Japan or China or whatever, the Asian Empire, 
um, when they used to sail and basically they controlled like a third or some great portion of the, of the world and she was beautiful and wonderful and it was his family or whatever of, of Asians and they were they were amazing anyway and I was just you know Lucifer star mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. roses pretty <laughs> you know I mean I'm I'm just the creator and, and after a thousand years or a hundred thousand years or a million years I'm kind of like a mascot or a pet it's like yeah, I'm your creator. What? Hmm? No. Flower. Good. Hey, you know, we should have more corn. <laughs> you know, where I'm just basically, you know, I'm just like kicking it. Like, a long time ago, I was like... And then... And then humans are like... Mm, sex. Reproduction. <laughs> you know, and stuff like that. And I'm just like, mm -hmm. I think I'll be dead now. And so he's like, mm, Lucifer. I'm like, yes. <laughs> anyway, so, you know, like I said, when you're the builder of stars and suns and 12 races and the human race and all kinds of other stuff, well, things are a bit different. And I tried to explain that to, um, to, um, like I said, I, I saw um, um, Abraham Lincoln. Like he was, I vaguely remember it. I was in the bed and really, really, really sick with a really bad fever. Oh, God, it's horrible. And he was saying how he was going to be getting dressed or a dress or something in some other town and it wouldn't be connected to him or something. I don't really know. I don't really remember. And I was like, well, I don't think it's really going to work. I was like, they're going to find out. Yeah, you know, because it's like, and he's like, boop, boop, boop. It's like, uh, I'm Lucifer Star. So anyway, and Abraham Lincoln is just some guy with a beard and a top hat that said that he could rule because he was the tallest. And then some, there was someone else that came along that was taller. And then so he added a top hat so he could say that he was still taller yet or something like that. I don't really know. He was doing hat, rule by hat height or something like that. So. I think. And he also said that women had to give up the back door to, for payment and stuff like that in his cities or societies or something. I think. If I remember right. He had a list. They, they found him and they found his list of and he said any woman within 50 feet. They also had a law against prostitution or something like that. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> he was, it depends. There were like five, three or four of, of the Abraham Lincolns. Like people wearing beards and top hats and wandering around. So, anyway, something like that. Like I said, I really wasn't there. Technically, I was dead. And somewhere else. So, anyway, yeah. At least that's my 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 remember, remembrance of basically Abraham Lincoln. So, but then somebody wanted to kill me or wanted to kill him or something like that. And so, you know, and then there are others. So... And then, of course, there's Roosevelt and also Truman, who who was found killing a town with, so with a bunch of soldiers. He cleared out a town or something like that. So they kicked him out of America, kicked him into China or kicked him into Mexico because they're like, you're not going to be in here anymore. And I think it might have been the Irishman or someone. Basically, he went in and killed the whole town. They found out about it, tracked it back to him. was like, and he was like, ee. And then the Republicans or something gave him like some money or something like that to, or I gave him money for mining and basically he went and did something bad in Mexico or something like that. Like I said, I don't, I'm basically just brushing over what I remember. Like I said, it's all written down in the books and stuff like that. And it's just that some things have been left out as far as what Truman was doing and also Roosevelt. Like I said, you'd have to talk to the Irish. And because the Irish were down in, we're doing the Panama Canal too. Like I said, the Panama Canal was so big that we had Indians there, we had Irish there, we had Germans, we had Englishmen. You know, it's basically there's the Panama Canal part, and then there's also the water system that went all that goes all the way down to the Cape. So even after you know, it was it was literally like a world site, like 500 or 250 years. 
basically. So we had Irishmen, we had Indians, we had Middle Easterns. You know, there were literally like every couple miles there was a new camp. There was a black camp. There was, you know, everybody was there. Literally everybody was in Panama <laughs> for a while. You know, it was, it was kind of cool because it was like, you know, we were doing something epic and big. Because, like I said, it's really massive. It's really, really massive. It was huge. You know, there's the Panama Canal part, but there's also, like, the pipeline that went all that goes all the way down to the Cape. So, you know, in every, like, five or six miles, I mean, that's 250,000 miles of, of, of pipeline. It's a long-ass pipeline. You know, it was like Lucifer Star's big, big bet. You know, and that's also why, um, as it was nearing completion, why Roosevelt and the Republicans and everybody were like, My Columbia! <laughs> And I was like, what? Who's Columbia? 